All right. Well, we are now in the home stretch for the 2011 BCRA Hall of Fame, and the final inductee is Mr. Rick Eisenbeis. Uh, he's being inducted as a midget official, but of course Rick has been everything else, including an official. He began with BCRA that midget race in the Oakland Exposition Building uh, when he began watching. He wasn't involved at that point. His favorite driver was Tommy Cobb. He hooked up with Bob Rosen, became a member of the Rosen Pit Crew, with such drivers as and many of these are Hall of Fame members, such as Dave Strickland, Rick Henderson, Gary Arnold, Rick Davidson, Ken Nichols, Carl Raggio, Gary Coster, Victor Mencarini, Jimmy Screeton, Davey Hamilton, and Tony Hunt, among others. He later became the track photographer at Antioch Speedway. Uh, that was, of course, outside of the realm of BCRA, but then he returned to the BCRA in the 1980s. Following the 1991 season, uh, business then business manager Tommy Morrow asked Rick to become the pit steward, which he did, and he worked up to become the referee in 1998. He moved to Las Vegas, uh, work uh, as an electrician took him there, and uh, from Las Vegas, you can imagine this, he made all of the races in Northern Cal in Central California, driving from Vegas. Uh, I don't know how many miles he put on his car, but it was definitely a few. In 1992 to 93, he was the pit steward, 95 to 98, the chief referee, and then 2000 to 2004, uh, also the chief referee. Rick was known back in those days for uh, pitching a tent on a racetrack. I can remember this vividly up at Lakeport, out there on the lawn at the fairgrounds, and, uh, you know, and, he, and he'd stay overnight, and he would uh, he'd bring his portable barbecue. Well, in 1990, he was approached by a couple board members about doing the barbecue do duties at the Hall of Fame barbecue, as we have here today, at the Jack London Bash. And of course, the rest is history. I didn't realize, though, until we got here today, I, I, I put Rick last partly because I figured he'd be done with the cooking and come down, but because of the fact he's an inductee today, he took off, and we have, uh, I'm not sure who did the, the cooking. Stephen did the cooking, uh, g gave uh, Rick a rest. I'm sure Rick will be back next year. So it was with great pride that, uh, that I am part of the induction of my old friend Rick Eisenbeis into the BCRA Hall of Fame. Yay! What did I forget, Rick? You've done so much. You didn't forget a darn thing. No, you you remembered everything guy. I told you. Do anything you tell <laughs> I lie a lot. Yeah, he does. Uh, first, I want to thank the board of directors for even considering me, you know, putting me in the, in the Hall of Fame. Uh, i got to thank Rosen for giving the snot-nosed kid way back then the chance to, you know, work on the darn things. And then Tommy Morrow for hiring me and Tom Palmer for teaching me almost everything I know. And i got my daughters here and the, and the wife. Uh, remember pitching the tent at Lakeport and all that. I usually had my daughters with me. We'd camp out and cook tri-tips afterwards and just have a wonderful time. I can't think of anything else, and I think we need to go racing. Let's get this raffle over with so I can win some more prizes, and uh, let's have a good time tonight. Thank you very much, Rick Isabise. Okay, now I think we're going to finalize the uh, raffle. We do have... Uh, you are working as an official, is that correct? You're inducted into the BCRA Hall of Fame today, is that correct? That's uh, what they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you ever get started? Was it over at Rosen's Garage? Oh, no. Uh, when I was a, a wee, just like, just started high school, my mom and dad kicked me out of the house one Friday night and told me to go to the midget races indoors in Oakland, and I did, and I never stopped going. I just kept on going back every week. When I was uh, in the Navy in Japan, I was getting the race results from Ruth Clark, and I was always keeping up with it. The night that we got back from Japan, uh, there was an indoor race that night. My mom and dad picked me up. They wanted to take me out to dinner, and I said, no, you're taking me to indoors. So, <laughs> and it's been a just, you know, an ongoing love affair with the midgets. So you grew up in Oakland, is that correct? Oh, yeah, born and raised. Okay. 55th Avenue. I wouldn't I wouldn't go there in an armored car today but <laughs>
when we were uh, interviewing Jay Itell uh, at his house, he was saying, hey, how would you ever get to Oakland? He said, well, my dad wanted um, my sister and brother to go to Berkeley, so that's where we moved there. Yeah, well, I was born and raised there, so, I mean, I didn't have a choice. It's not like, you know, I'm a kid and I have a choice of where I want to live. Okay, so then uh, you were over at Rosen's and uh, you started pitting with him? Yeah, I didn't have a driver's license yet, and they opened up the racetrack in Altamont, and I needed a way there, so I knew Bob from indoors, because I'd talked to him a few times, so I called him up and asked him if he was going to Altamont that night, and he said, yep. And I says, can I go with you? And he said, well, I guess so. And told me to be down at his forklift shop, and I was there, and he wanted to put me in the pits, and I wasn't quite 18 yet, so I didn't, or I forget how old I was. But... Uh, I sat in the stands, had a wonderful time, and went home and started helping him out on his race car. And, and so what were you as an official for BCRA? I uh, started out as a pit steward and was doing the tech and then was the referee. I've done just about it all, and then cooking too. <laughs> the wonderful cooking. So do you, do you have a highlight of your career with BCRA? Uh, every time I show up at a race, it's fun. There are really no highlights. Very good. Rick Eisen. Eisen Bison. Eisen Bison. Eisen Bison. Eisen Bison. There you go. At the uh, BCRA Hall of Fame picnic, inducted today. Uh, 